Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is lesson four of basic Bible teachings. Today, our topic is anthropology, big word. And let's open with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your word as we look into it today. We thank you for how you create us, who men and women are, uh, and that you've given some explanation to us as to who we are and how we operate, and that we should uh, read that and understand that, and it'll help us live our Christian lives better. Be with us now as we study your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, so, last week, we've looked briefly at God. You know, that's a big topic, big subject. In fact, we got done early because so many things were uh, above our heads, the transcendency and all that, that we got done soon. Now, we didn't talk a whole lot about what he does, but basically last week we talked about who he was, who he is. Now we're going to switch and look at a totally different topic. Uh, we're going to look at man, and not males, but humanity in general, male and female. And we'll, Next week, though, we get into what man does. So again, this week is mostly who he is and why he's that way. And next week is what he does. Now, we'll have to touch a little bit on what he does this week. So we have a, uh, we have a pop quiz here for you. And I'm going to put uh -huh. this up on the screen. I'm going to share this. And I want you to all yell out the answer when you see the questions come up. And I'm not going to say right or wrong. I'm going to go back through and, and uh, say right or wrong. So let me get the screen sharing going here. Go. Mm -hmm. Those are the answers always. Yeah. All these questions. Yeah. All right. Okay. Question number one. People, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. People live People forever. Live. Yes or no? If they're saved. Yes and no. Yeah. Yes and no. Okay. Man's <laughs> physical structure looks like God. Could be. I don't hear much audience participation. He says we're made yeah. in his dimension. Yes. Man's physical structure looks like God. Okay. Uh, man is uh, made up of two parts, body and soul. True. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh. Three parts. Okay. Oh. Man is made up of three parts, body, soul, and spirit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm so smart. <laughs> like I went to Bible college or something. For like one semester. Okay, so <laughs> let me see if I can figure this out here. Uh, stop share. Okay. Hey. Hey, looks Doug. We got some new people here. Good. How how uh how do you think you did in your quiz? Four. Hundred percent. Okay, we're gonna find out here. <laughs> I settled Let's go back to the. Uh... Okay, people live forever. True. Why is that true? Spirit endures. Okay, now that's once you are born. We have to put that into, we don't want to get into some metaphysics there, but once you are born, whether you're a Christian or not, you live forever. Correct? True. What happens if you're not a Christian? Do you live forever? Anybody? Yes, you spend eternity in hell. Okay, and if you are a Christian, you live forever. Yes. Yes, where do you spend eternity then? Heaven. With the Lord. Heaven. Okay, good. Number two, man's physical structure looks like God. True. 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 False. False. Uh, God is not a physical being. Uh, God is a spiritual being. That's a trick question. So, yes, it's a trick question. But again, we're going to learn that. Uh, now, Emma said possibly. Now she could be right. We don't know what. As a spirit, as a spiritual, yeah, as a spiritual being, we're not quite sure uh, what God would look like if he was physical being. But again. God is a spiritual being. He's beyond us. Uh, now, Jesus was a physical structure, and he looked like us when he took the form of Jesus. So, again, that can throw you off a little bit. 
Okay, so how, so what, is the, what does scripture mean when it says made in his image? Then? We're, we're going to talk about that. These are setup questions for that. Spiritual. Good question. I'm glad you asked that. That's the purpose of this question. It worked. God, man is made up well, of two parts, body and soul. False. False, okay. Good. Man is made up of three parts, body, soul, and spirit. True. Pardon? True. True. Okay, true, good. And again, we're going to discuss all this as we go through our lesson here on anthropology. By the way, uh, where, what? let's break the word anthropology down. What does anthro mean in Greek? Man. man. Okay, mankind. What does apology mean? Study of. Study of. Okay, so again, this is a study of man. And as I said earlier, we're basically going to look at who man is, why he's that way, and next week we're going to look at some of his actions. Next week we study about sin, so uh, the doctrine of sin, that'll be interesting. So the big idea today is knowing who we are. You have to know who you are. It makes a big difference in your life. Uh, you guys that are younger in the library there at church uh, probably understand this in a different way than we do that are older. Uh, you are still probably searching for who you are and what you're gonna do and the rest of your life. Uh, but we understand, those of us that are a little older, once you figure out who you are and where you're going and all that, it makes life a little bit easier. Now, again, you know, never totally figured that out except as a Christian, uh, that's very important. Now, uh, we have a little Dilbert uh, video here to do, if I can figure out how to do this. So hold on a second here. About little Dilbert, he's not like other kids. What do you mean? Yesterday, I left him alone for a minute, and he disassembled the TV, our clock, and the stereo. That's perfectly normal. Kids take things apart. Oh. The part that worries me is he used the components to build a ham radio set. Oh, dear. Is that bad? Normally, I'd want to run an EEG on him, but the machine isn't working. It's worse than I feared. What is it? I'm afraid your son has the knack. The knack? The knack. It's a rare condition characterized by an extreme intuition about all things mechanical and electrical and utter social ineptitude. Can he lead a normal life? No. He'll be an engineer. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> oh, my. Let's get out of that quickly. Uh, stop share. Okay. So, we have any so engineers in the group. <laughs> yeah. So those of you that have, have uh, are familiar with Dilbert in the cartoons, does he end up being an engineer? No. What does he end up doing? In an office job. Yeah, mindless work in an office that drives him crazy. So. I work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brendan, you understand that, right? <laughs> so how? What's the moral of that story? Uh, things can change to embrace who you are that's right he he did not on his mother or him or both did not fully grasp who he was embrace who he was and go with that they fought against the nature and went against something else so uh again uh we'll talk about that here in a minute now let me bring up the uh powerpoint we'll start 